<laughs> Lisa, what are you doing? Hey, um, TikTok. Tonight we're having steak and chips with some extra little bit. Dish up dinner with me. This was Harper's choice. Let's get in. Dish up dinner with me. Dish up one of the nicest dinners with me. Oh my god, what is that? It's a hard one. I'm doing this. It's a plate my meal video where they, she she plates up her food. What? What is that? It's just it's plating videos where like you people order their food or they like make their food and they dish it up for dinner so I can see what they're having for dinner. Okay. And you find this entertaining? Yeah, I don't it's comforting. It's it's a comforting video. I really don't need to judge on it. Like it's not like I've got anything else I could be doing right now. Oh girl, like we've got books and stuff we can read. Like we don't have to be doing this. It's not very good for our brain. I get that, but like this is just what's in right now and that's what everybody is watching. That's what everyone wants to watch, so I'm watching it too, and it's not that bad. Come with me. You and I need to have a chat. Now sit down there, and we're gonna have a chat. You and I, and your friends. Hello everybody. In today's video, I wanna talk about the sheep mentality that has been plaguing social media as of late. When you scroll through TikTok or Instagram Reels, it's not bizarre to see the same regurgitated content over and over again. Content that is, quite frankly, used for very easy likes and follows. Now, online at present, there's a lot of videos that have trends that typically are related to comfort. They're usually a story or a trend in which we ourselves can relate, such as what I eat in a day or cleaning up my food. We all do it. Every single day, we have to plate up our food. So why do we find it comforting when we watch someone else do it? Is it because their food is actually interesting? Is it their personality that strikes us as someone like a warm friend that we may not have in our lives at the moment? Is it we find their food a lot more interesting than our own and it gives us ideas for what we can eat that week? Or is it just a really quick, easy way to make content? that doesn't have much thought in it, but for some reason gives people comfort. Is it wrong that there's no artistry, there's no, I guess, creativity to it? Or is it lazy? Or is it intelligent? And what does it say about the state of our minds in this digital age? Let's jump into it. The epidemic of repetitive content, scrolling through TikTok, it's hard to ignore the sheer volume of content that feels recycled. The same stories, the same jokes, the same trends. While some creators undoubtedly put in the effort and deserve their success, there's an overwhelming sense of conformity among many users. It's as if everyone is chasing after the same formula for virality, sacrificing authenticity and creativity along the way. It's as if everyone wants to copy the same formula to create a viral video in order to make themselves known present and hope that one of these videos will get enough traction that maybe their originality videos will be pushed to the forefront. Sadly though, that's not really the case. What compels people to share their absolute mundane thoughts to complete strangers of all people? It's a curious phenomenon, one that raises questions about the authenticity of our interactions in the digital realm compared to face-to-face -face encounters. Now, as I raise these questions, I am perfectly aware that, in itself, I could be extremely hypocritical by even making this video. Am I guilty of perpetuating and doing the exact same cycle of just making regurgitated content? Have you seen this video before from another creator that I'm not aware of? By making this video, am I contributing to the content of, that I am critiquing? It's honestly a little bit of a sobering thought and one that should be looked at. Perhaps by shining light on the sheep mentality of social media, I'm challenging both myself and my audience to reflect on our online behaviors and strive for more meaningful interactions. 
truth of the nature is, the answer lies in the eyes of the beholder. The only way we can truly know if this content is any good is if we take a step back and really analyze it. Would this person have a platform if social media wasn't so accessible? If we didn't have access to these bad boys, would we be viral? Would we be calling people talented for coming up with ideas like this? Or would we say this is abysmal and want better? Or is it just harmless? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. The reality is that the sheep-like mentality on TikTok and Instagram Reels is just evidence of society and how it is at the moment during the modern age. The prioritization of popularity over substance, conformity over originality, as we navigate this digital landscape, let's not lose sight of the importance of authenticity and genuine connection. Let's dare to be different to think critically and to challenge the status quo. And perhaps in doing so, we can reclaim the true essence of social media, a platform that is meant for creativity, expression, and meaningful discourse. This is a very short and sweet video, and I guess the only point I have is we need to analyze and maybe demand better for our society in wanting talented content, stuff that isn't going to just melt our brains one day. I can't be the only one feeling that as I watch things, I'm getting dumber. Yes, I can at least acknowledge that it does provide a comfort, but I need to figure out why that is. And should we be demanding something more creative in order to maybe ignite that within ourselves? Or do we just need to look within the whole time and just not worry about the rest and stop putting people on platforms for doing the bare minimum? I'm more than happy for you to tell me that I'm doing that. I am open to critique. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I do plan on posting more videos. I'm really sorry this one has been delayed. I got very sick, so did my child, and it's just been an absolute chaos since then. But we seemingly are back on track. I'll see you all very soon in my next video. As always, if you like this video, please leave a like. It is good for the algorithm and commenting is always great as well. I'd love to read your comments. And if you feel like you wanna see more of me, please think about subscribing. If you feel so inclined, obviously. <laughs> Don't do it just for sake of it. So Lisa, what do you think? Do you think you can maybe read a book or do something that will enter your mind into a better place? Maybe raise your IQ a little bit. What do you think? I think you, have baby spit up the entire time you were saying that but yeah probably a little bit preachy but it makes sense let's go read a book